Hello. I've seen that you've come to see how I'm doing on my Pineapple Song rug. So I thought I'd show you how I change my colors so that I can have the white show the separation and the red pineapples. You've already seen the center here, but I'm going to show you how to do the petals out here. Here's the center already from here to here. Mm, it's about 20 inches. So this is going to be a really big rug when I'm done. On my little color separations here, you'll see on the back that what I do is I carry my colors across and then when I start a new row, I go over it to kind of lock it in so I don't have a lot of loose ends. I have one big ball of red because as you see in my picture, the red is the dominant and then the white is just sporadic. So to have all these little white thing or white five double crochet clusters, I have them on bobbins. Okay, and I've purchased these bobbins when I was doing graph a graph gan for my daughter. You can get six in a package for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. These are fantastic. Okay. Even though they're designed to hang um, blankets on your clothesline or something like that, the possibilities are endless. So what I did on mine, I just took my white yarn, wrapped it around and wrapped it around, and this one kind of fell off, but usually I stop it right here because you can still open and close them. So I'm going to set up the camera on the tripod here and I'm going to show you how I change my colors here. For this demonstration, I just brought over one of my bobbins. Of course, the other ones are over there saying, pick me, pick me, it's my turn. <laughs> well, they can wait. So this is row 21 of the Pineapple Song. I did my chain seven, two double crochets on the chain four, and in the second chain four, three single crochets. Now to change my color, I found that I have to manipulate the yarn a little. So here I got a chain four before I do five DC again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain three. So here's one, two, three. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, why in the world is she only doing three if she needs four? Well, I'm going to change my color. Like I said, since I brought everything over. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick it up and pull it through the one chain. Now, even though this may loose, the red will loosen and tighten, it's okay because we can adjust it later. But you'll notice that I have where it's plenty enough to go across. I can tighten it up just a little bit. But in order for it to look like we have just a double crochet here without any red and everything else in it, what we're going to do is we're going to do the yarn over both of the strands. My double crochet is going to go in the third double crochet of the previous row. So one, two, three. You want to hold this down with your finger to keep it from rotating. I just want to pick up the two uh, chains from the top stitch. We're not going in between. We're just 
picking them up. And then we want to complete the double crochet. We'll go through the two and then those four that we had. And then we'll go through this to complete the double crochet. Now here we'll tighten this up just a little bit. Okay, so there's one double crochet. But on the back here, I have the red from row 20. So what I want to do here, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a double crochet, but I'm going to pick up that red and then complete my double crochet. So what it does is it actually pulls that red up into it and it will get buried uh, with the five double crochets that we need to put on here. So here's two three I thought I pulled out enough. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Make sure I have my tensions right. One, two, three. This will be number four. And then here's going to be number five. I have long hair, so I can't believe it. My long hair gets into everything. <laughs> and here's number five. Now, I'm not going to complete the fifth one. I'm only going to go through the first two, the begin, you know, make it half of the double crochet. And then I'm going to pick up my red, and I'm going to complete it so I can have my color change. Now, the white needs to be towards me, so I'm going to go over the red. And I'll make sure that this is kind of loose back here, because I don't want it too tight. I want this, this five double crochet to fan out just that little bit, so it's, it's loose there, but not too loose. I'm going to take the white and snug it up just a little bit, and then I'm going to make the four chains. One, two, three, and four. Here, let me do one single crochet over here to tie all this down and I'll show you what we have here. Okay, so what we have here is when I doubled the middle of that double crochet it doesn't distort it much. I know it's doubled, but unless you get down there with your eyes, you ain't really going to look at it. But you'll see that the red is not being dragged into this. You'll see that um, it's hidden up in here and up in here. So this is how I'm doing it by using bobbins for this. And one big ball because this is my main color. So if you choose to do your pineapple song like mine, this is my tip for you. And that way you won't have a ton of tie-ins. Oh my gosh, this eliminates it all. <laughs> so, happy crocheting. And I hope to see if you make your pineapple song in the colors that you choose that you share it with us or with me. Have a great day and happy crocheting!
Hello. I thought I would show you the fun I'm having while doing Pineapple Song. I know a lot of you question how I change my colors. I showed you the video down here how I changed my colors. And notice that on the back side I don't have any tails because I wove over them or crocheted over them but as I got up higher in my rows I find that I will have to be weaving in some rows but when it came to the section here with the two whites I was able to crochet over them so I'm going to show you what I did um, by picking up the red at the white and going across. Um, this portion of the pineapple is just regular crochet. So I'm going to set up my camera on the tripod and show you how I pick up the white to the red, pick up the pink to the white, the white to the pink, and back to the red. And I'll show you how I do this so that there's limited sewing in. You'll notice here that my red, I do have long loops. I will be, you see this, I will be weaving them in on each row to tie them in. Remember this is a rug, this isn't a blanket, so it won't be getting as much tugging and pulling. But all that stuff you see in the background is from my bobbins. I have a lot of bobbins set up. I think I got about 36 of them set up so far. Nine times three, 27. <laughs> okay, so let me set it up and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is since I'm working the red, I'm going to pull it here in front of me reason being is because after I join this yarn I want it to go over the top so after I join the white it goes over to the back and you'll notice here that I've left extra what I do is I go under both and then pick up my stitch and do my double crochet and you'll notice that when I pick up both it doesn't leave any extra yarn right here so here I do five double crochets two three I ran out of yarn hang on There's four, and here's number five. Now I'm not going to complete the fifth one, and I bring my yarn forward towards me, and then I find my pink where I stopped at before, tightening all ends down there, and then I'm going to pick it up and pull it through both loops and then tighten the white and go over to the back. Now on the pink, you notice that I have a long tail from the other side. What I'm going to be doing is I'll be crocheting over it, but if you notice I'm stretching it just a little bit more. I have to play with it to make sure that it's right. Now the first stitch I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all four and create that first locking chain. In this part I need to chain five. So I got one chain one right there. And I need more yarn again. I'm taking it off of my cardboard. Here it is here. 
<clears throat> and then I'm going to take my tail piece here and I'm going to swing it across and then I'm going to pick up and make a chain and I'm going to do like a rocking motion bring it back and forth and back and forth so that it it stays hidden in the chain itself so we got One, two, three, four. I got one more chain to do. There's chain five. So now in this case, I have to do a single crochet here on the outside. And you notice how I carry my tails, I mean the tail in the stitch. And then I will pick up the four single crochets doing it over the tail there's the fourth single crochet and the pattern calls for one single crochet into the chain four of the previous row okay you see how I've tied them all down and here we have just that little tiny piece left but it it seems to be staying right behind the chain so I'm not going to worry about it now I'm going to chain four because the fifth chain will be the white one two three four now remember I bring the 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 chain the, the working piece towards me and then I pick up the white and bring it through the chain okay now after I brought my new color on through the chain I go back over that means I'm taking my my bobbin and putting it to the back and then here I'm going to pick up my new my new bobbin <clears throat> and I'm going to do where I go under and through and pick up and tighten and then complete a double crochet now I have this little tiny tail I want to get rid of the excess there and since I'm doing five double crochets here it'll tighten up that tail two so here's two three four and since this is the fifth one and I will be changing my color I will stop halfway my white is in front of me Oh, I'm twisted up. Hang just a second. When you have a lot of thread, sometimes one of them wants to disagree with you. <laughs> okay, so now I got to come back over here and pick up my working red. And I'm going to leave a long tail, a long loop on this, so that way when I come back, I can cut it and weave in on both sides of the red. So here I go over. Okay, I'm going to pull this a little tight, find my working end, and do chain three, and then on to the three single crochet, one, two, And three and to continue on with the pattern I chain two and do a two DC cluster in the chain one space and then we chain okay this particular row will get four 
but I wanted to show you how I continue on with the pattern and change my color to eliminate a lot of color change. Hope this inspires you. I love challenging things. Have a great day and continue to follow with me on the pineapple rug that I'm making. The design is by Patricia Christofferson and it is an extremely popular pattern. Have fun crocheting. Bye-bye.